Hello friends. Now we are going to discuss about all the SAP HR reports that are available standard. So this is one standard SAP HR report. Let's go. <coughs> Let's go into the PowerPoint. Okay. And here you can see all the HR reports you can think of. Okay. So let's see. Okay. So here you have SAP existing org unit. So it's it's you might say, oh, these numbers are, but it's the way it is. So you just need to copy it from here. Okay. And we'll see most of the HR org structures. Okay. So here you can see. So if I go and execute, it will tell me all the org structures here associated with it. Now there might be some hidden fields. You can add all these hidden fields out. Okay, so you click here and you bring it here. And here you can see it's it's all there. So the one that we created was something related with IT. What was it? This one. This one is ours, if you see. So let me see whether it works. If we double click on it, uh, it doesn't do anything. So it's just a simple thing and you can download it in Excel and all those things you have so now here you can see today so if you see execute and we'll see <coughs> that whatever is active today okay so if you see these are active today now if you want to put a date duration you can see if you click on the past yeah so let's see in the past the past one all will also show our, our stuff because we had a date of the past okay so these are important stuff that you want to use so now if we click standard selection screen it will give you some more options like the search terms so search term was i don't know we put search term as argadip my name i don't know uh, yeah so that was the search term and it found it so this is pretty nice pretty slick and you can use it so the next one that we are going to use is on the other front okay so here we can see we can put two seven okay and we can see execute stop function for our unit okay so here we can just execute and here you can see number of stop position if i double click on it it takes me to these things so these are different stop position so if we put key on it will give me the uh, probably the number of the org unit so instead and if you put text on it will give this so this is another transaction code that we can use okay now let's go to the powerpoint 27282892230 so these are the ones that we are going to check 28 now okay uh, let's go let's go back hit the back button and we'll put 28 okay let's see what's that so this is the organization structure so you execute and you see execute for all objects it it shows me all the org structure so if you see uh, so this is this is a nice one because it has the hierarchy of log structure and we'll go down and we'll see our org structure that we created okay and here you can see all this stuff okay now yes so it's it's pretty slick this one so this was the transaction code was 28 now let's go to the transaction code which is 29 program structure with position so we had some uh, stuff with positions uh, that we created so we'll just execute. So these are very important transactions because not always you'll get PPO, AC, PPO, uh, ME, PPO, C transaction. You'll get this, this transaction code. So if we go here, you can see all the positions that was assigned to this org structure. These are very nice stuff. So if you, you can find all the positions that are assigned. Okay, so this is pretty slick. Now let's see what more we have stuff that we can add in the layout no <coughs> it's already added i remember we did something on the percentage stuff on one of these i don't remember which one 
this one is C whether there's the percentage but uh, we did the percentage on the uh, position level not on the employee level so that's fine so next one the next transaction code that we are going to use is 30 okay so here if you see 30 is organization structure with persons so we had some organization structure um, the one organization structure that we created had persons so we can see so these are already created in the system so if we check this one and if we scroll down see, you see this these are positions and we had persons assigned so so this is another one let's see the next one the transaction code is 31 uh, don't ask me about the uh, naming convention that's the way it is the work center uh, let's see the work centers you have something so work center is something that is very simple and then think like it's a group of people that does the same type of work so it can be an ap department it can be the hr department who takes care of your updates or something the validations you know the payroll department so those can be a position or an order unit can be assigned to a work center so this is the term for work center now the next one would be 3250 let's see uh we didn't have any other one six two three one three two so this one is existing jobs so it tells us what are the jobs that are created okay so if you see this is the job that was for so all the jobs comes then let's go and we'll see the other transaction code 33 we are on a roll so here we can see job index um, i really don't know on this job index what is this so let's see mm, we scroll we execute and it's turning so it's doing something in the meantime we just go into another transaction 34 okay and we execute this is also running 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 okay it's taking slow so let's close this and we'll go to this transaction we saw is three two five zero so let's see box center per org unit so if you execute this you will find all the work centers that is assigned to our org unit uh, we haven't tried to do this, but here if you see all the work centers that is assigned to our org unit. So in our case, mm, it's just the org structure problem that is assigned. Okay. So this is one. This is still moving. So let's go and find some other transaction. So 53 will not go much we'd like to see this month's okay so mm, six four nine two let's see this one or we'll try six four nine one also nine one so existing wall unit what is this so just execute good thing we have we have enough data to play with so this is existing all unit it shows the same thing that we saw in one of the transaction code before. Let's see 92 <coughs> tough function for our unit. So we execute. I think it's the same one that we saw before. Um, mm, 6493. 64. Oh, see these numbers and these are the same. <coughs> okay. Mm okay let's now move into um, the next page which is this hr report employee history report so that would be fun to see okay so this one is 6129 610 uh 6129 i don't know why the naming convention is this but some there would be some reason uh, then we have 6130, 
a worker compensation report new hire report those are important ones so let's see employee history so we just execute okay and this might take some time because some running for everything probably should have given the employee ID but that's good see here it comes so the employee history report um, so this is the employee history uh, so you have the salary these are all payroll is not running here so you have this so these are the history of the employee uh, hmm, stuff food in okay so this this is the employee history report it's useful um, hmm. now here we can search for the other one six one no we'll see new hire report six one five zero so six one five zero check and it's running in the meantime we will see some other ones um info type reporting six two six seven so this is the one we'll be checking so let's see six two six seven so first we see what is this? What is this new hire report? Magnetic media paper. Ooh. It's like an old report. Coming from the graveyard or something. <laughs> so let's see magnetic media. Oh, well, it's something useful for someone. Let's see. And we'll just go and probably we'll put the personal number. We have the personal number here. Let's see. What's on it? Doesn't work. So, so this we don't have much data. Let's go to six two six seven. Six two six seven. It's the report. I want to check six two six seven. Now, once we check this report, we'll execute. Info type is not supported at present. We'll put a person. We'll put the person. Let's see. Here is the person. Man, two. Zero, zero, four. Okay, so evaluation and protection. It's not showing. It's not showing nothing. It's probably this is. Is not working. Look promising. And the next one is travel expense report. We don't have travel expense. There's another one six. 394 info type report. That's really 6394 problem. That works. So these are some stuff that I don't understand why SAP doesn't make it more generic. It's easier. Uh, well, mm, probably that that part they can improve rather than putting numbers into transaction code. They can put some other stuff. So this one is also not working. Mm, acknowledging report for third party Canada payroll. So there's some other stuff. So we can search here some other reports. So how to find some reports? We can go. Let's see. N P A twenty. Okay. So here we have P A twenty. We go here, or we can go from the let's see 16. Okay, I'll show you a trick how to find reports. DSPCD, and here um, you say HR and you execute. Now, here you get a lot of other stuff. So, 
so it can be HR stuff I don't know so let's see HR namespace HR EPM let's do one thing change that's uh, the wrong button uh, I put EM okay and I execute now and now here see some stuff and let it suppose in so here oh ooh, some nice stuff um so here this is one related with workflow where you can let's go there good thing we found this swehr1 where you can trigger workflow based on info type chains okay so here you can see work center you can see job and all those things and here you can define the different info types okay so here if you see let's go you can see info type one this is the business object and if i go and this is the thing here you can define all those uh, all those workflow things that you want to trigger okay so this is very useful okay what is this name implying let's see try to copy oh yeah so here you can mention the info types okay uh, let's see so these are all the standard business objects that is there. So let's now go SWHR1. So let's see, we'll do some org structure. ORG. Nothing org. Yeah. No, transfer. Activate HR organization. No. We don't want to see that. Reporting. HR00. We can see a bunch of reports here. HR00. Okay, let's try that. HR00. Okay, CSC43 instead. Ooh, this is an old transaction. No wonder. <clears throat> so here is a way to reports organization structure. So what we can do is now we scroll back and we will say arc structure let's see so nope, not this one arc structure let's see manager so not this once so <clears throat> here we can do slash star hr star this will give a bunch of other stuff but hey we're searching we're learning important stuff so here we have all the HR stuff you can think of. Oof. And here we can do there's some stuff which doesn't have text, so I will not even look at it. So I'll see not equal to. So these are shift reports. Okay, so scroll to the end. So let's do, scroll down. These are different company, different country stuff. Okay. So SAP query. Let's see. This would be something. Ad hoc query. Payroll monthly report. Let's see. So here we copy this T code and we go here. We paste it. 
now I copied from there by putting control Y in my keyboard and then I copied and then you, you drag it okay so here ooh, this is nice HR personal administration oops this is nice so info set query you put the personal num and you put suppose two two four output reporting uh, previous today okay now output still no fields selected how this works oh output here Ooh, I didn't know that Ooh, see you see all this personal number so these are all the personal numbers so now here suppose I want to see org assignment uh, org assignment I want to see position I want to see the output Ooh. so here you can do all this ad hoc query based on this this is pretty nice I like it okay so this is very important you can use all these queries and this is pretty useful. so the transaction code was s underscore HR six one zero nine zero three six okay let's try the next one we are finding some nice stuff let's see the query this one control Y I did and I then drag it then I do control C that's how you copy it now I press this this is all the queries that is created oh this is add up queries so you can see the bank details and if I click execute here yeah. and I just run it bank details and I can see all the bank details of person I think of multiple persons so it's running so this is pretty nice the the queries here so this one SAP query 9053 you will see some other ones so Rent receipt update. Oops, these are stuff. So many 3D graphics interface. Ooh. We'll see some other stuff also. In the meantime, it's oh, this is taking some time. Okay, let's find some other stuff. Uh, existing tasks, existing object. Info type reporting. Let's see. That's one we tried. I think we tried and it doesn't work, right? Let's see. Yes, yeah, six five three two was there tried. Mm, no. Let's see. Yep, same problem. This one. And so PD graphics interface. Let's go up the chain and existing job 6493 now to see some reporting relationship reporting teaching house reporting structures with person reporting structure uh, with persons without persons this one 6 y one let's check this one did we, did we try this one 6 y one two we can see the other stuff showed up six five one two we never checked it so that's brand new so let's see the six five one two we execute we don't have much data but you shouldn't be doing it in other systems so this is the reporting structure without this is without person so these these people 
don't have a person as associated with it. <coughs> okay, so that's the it's showing this like orphan. Okay, now there was another one, six by one two and six by one three probably with person. So these people have all have users assigned to it. It's not orphan if you see. So this have all this these are the ones so oh, the all the with person show the ones that are not assigned also oh that's nice so i will always use the other one so use this one so it's this one six five one three it's pretty nice and let's see what you can do here more uh can we assign stuff or it's just a so if we do this position the cursor i don't want to position any cursor so here you can see all the stuff that has a that has a user assigned okay so that's very important now let's see I'll just do this Oof, that's a lot movement analysis report travel expense report we don't have the travel expense switched on so i'm not showing reporting structure with persons okay we saw all these things this is nice and i think in the meantime the banking portion also came up so here you can see all the personal numbers the banking and other stuffs so this is the bank details this is nice uh this is pretty useful now here we can see the birthday list okay so that's a nice thing okay mm. Ooh. Car search. Ooh. That would be fun. Who is having which cars? So, difference between credit and info. But the list. So, we'll just see the but the list of people. And these are all the but the living date of birth. Ooh. There's a bunch of people in 29, 1929. Ooh, that was a long time ago. Okay, so he's now 91 year old. Ooh, that's fun. You know, lots of times you have to send a birthday um, card and all those things. You can automate. I have built programs to automate that from SAP. Something that's nice. And then you can see education, family members is something that you want to see. Okay, so we'll just see, we'll just click on execute. And here we'll just execute. And we can see the family members. Okay, name of person, family relationship, first name, last name. Do we have other fields here? Hidden? No, yes. No, there's no hidden field. So this is pretty useful. All this reporting that is there let's see there's another reporting which we can think of mm, so so you have hate counts oh this one is nice it counts per org unit okay we'll just execute this and we'll see mm, we'll see so that's good so hit counts per org unit so you have one with this this is nice uh, then let's see the other one that is there it's the nationality okay so we'll see execute execute and here you see dutch one it you have a lot of Americans here. Okay, so these things, these are very useful reports that you can always use in order to in order to check the different stats like the bank data, like who is born when, and the the org assignment based on employees and other stuffs. Those are important stuffs that you will be using every day. And these are out of the box standard reports that SAP has given uh, uh, that you can use easily and effectively. So uh, these are, this should be, you know, you should be keeping this in your 
fingertips okay now let's see the other report this one for payroll okay so let's go on the payroll side let's see this one whether we will have something oh yeah payroll monthly report okay, i don't know whether we have data for this uh, so we don't have data, but you know, you can see this transaction code It's the payroll monthly report. Okay, so It's pretty nice and here again. You can see human resource. We check, you know, this is this is the old system Managers desktop we used to have this but I don't know why they have kept it still <laughs> You see you have the workflow inbox you have recruitment your compensation you know you had always these things okay so if you go here you can see all the workflows and all those things this, so this was this was old but i think old is gold from there everything started so this is very important okay now let's go back to that initial screen we can see some of the stuffs that we probably have missed and uh, we will see so HR master data, we covered this PA30, PA20, PA10, fast entry. Let's see the fast entry. What is this fast entry actions? So this is probably you. So here you can enter with proposal. You can copy paste something from an existing personal number. That's nice. So here fast entry actions. Then the, you have the info systems. So these, I think we were, we were seeing this. Let's see the ad hoc queries. Oh, this is the one that we were checking before. This is pretty nice. Now we'll see the reports. Oh, there's a bunch of reports. Ooh. So here you can see all the reports, data, severely challenged, list of maternity data. Oh, this is good. So here you can see all the all the uh, mothers who have left the office for creating the future of this world. Uh, so you can get all those data employee list mm -hmm. that's I think the same thing that we were showing okay so this is pretty nice so if we go back and then you have um, administration Brazil Ooh. yeah they have they have, they have stuff that's different so that's why SAP has created their own little space and then you have organization entity let's click on this and you can see hit found changes and all those things age gender and other stuff then the documents is something reporting start log of report info type logs so this is something so all these are useful stuff depending on the, the country you're working with so personal development this is something related with where you want to enter your plan for the future appraisal planning and all those things you know uh, then you have time management training and event organization management this one i want to cover a little if we miss because this is very important if you see it, all these things we have discussed uh a general structure what is this let's see <laughs> so what is this position general structure of the creative structure okay this is the probably the org structure PPSM and what is this matrix? Okay, so let's see the matrix. So we are going to hit matrix and we'll see what is there. Probably there's nothing. Yeah, not to just so you have to select you have to maintain this. These these are stuffs that SAP has and you can use it you know uh, it's up to you whether you want to use then you have all unit you have job and other stuff so I want to go to the tools portion okay uh, so you have to, all the info types so mm, let's see the objects display info types let's see this one I don't have authorization so this is another one so here you have settings PPOM set maintenance current setting set plan description 
so this is related with working so these are all very important stuff that you can use you know this this personal management let's go Oof. recruitment Time management, organization management, the organization unit, staff function. Let's see this. I think we discussed all this. So this is. So we did. We did this thing. Periods. This one's. Let's see. Let's execute this one. Oh, this is nice where it shows periods when positions are unoccupied per org unit so this tells you know whether you really need a position kept or you can dissolve that position because if you have gone through that uh, position without for more than 200 days you know you probably don't need it so then you can see the vacant positions the obsolete positions and all those things these are very nice stuff so if you see probably there will be lots of vacant positions here yeah. so these are things that you can run ad hoc SAP standard has already given it out of the box which is ready to be used and then the reporting structure so I think we have discussed this portion let's go to the other one travel management your reporting tool let's see the reporting tool I think this we have done this is the query we went right uh, see add a query S executing so let's see and so this let's go to the other portion this is the place where it tells the nationality and let's see is it the same transaction code so this is the way you know which transaction code you are in so that was sq01 this is taking forever so uh let's stop this now uh, so this one so if you go here probably from here i know system status this is also a head up query. Yep. So, so I think this is this covers and this is another one. Let's try this one. PPIS, HIS. And access object standard view. We'll see execute. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Try to find your argument. Hours argument. It? Oh, it's in the second. Hmm. See, it's trying to do something. So it's transferring tools. I don't know what is going. Oh, it's creating the arc structure. Ah, oh, that's nice. So you can see the defaults. You can click on administration. Yeah, you can click both this. Oh, this is nice. This is slick. I like it. So this is how you can see. And if you click on the view options, you know, you can get the feather ones. Okay, feathered. Let's move this way. I like it. And this, you don't need to create flowcharts and all those things. So that covers everything on the. SAP HR standard reports that you can see and you you have a bunch that you can use okay uh, so that covers everything on the SAP HR standard report.